Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Resolve series and I have brought forward to you a concept on RMS speed calculation in an ideal gas mixture. Okay, so there is a usual formula that goes by in certain textbooks and coaching materials which at the bottom you could see square root of 3RT by average molecular weight okay so this average molecular weight concept is also used in calculating the velocity of sound uh, in that particular ideal gas so is that concept correct or if not what is wrong with it and what is the correct relation for the rms speed when two or more ideal gases are mixed with each other so i have already posted a community post on this in recent times and I requested students to go through. So we'll try to analyze it through a question as always is the case with resolved series. Okay. And so this is the idea that we are going to explore in today's uh, video. Can we apply this formula to a mixture of ideal gases where average molecular weight is given by a weighted average or weighted arithmetic mean where n1 and n2 are the number of moles of the gas one and gas two respectively rest of the constants are all very familiar to the students who are in the 12th standard okay so is the average molar mass concept correct for the rms calculation or not is what we are going to resolve okay so before we move on to the understanding of the concept and the analysis i would request you as always uh, to provide certain likes for this particular video. Not just this, if you are uh, a follower of this channel, you would realize that uh, the quality of the videos help the students a lot once they spend certain amount of time in this channel. So a certain number of likes would go a long way in ensuring that the channel's reach is increased. So I would post my next video once the number of likes for this video are reaching 750 or as promised uh, last time also, I think, I asked for 600 likes. It took somewhere around 60 days to actually finish. So here I am after 60 days posting the video. So same thing this time, I would try to post it a bit quicker. So 30 days. So if you want to have the videos much faster, which is what I would like to do in the channel. So if the likes are reached within three days, I would be forced to uh, produce the video within three days. So thanks for all the unconditional support. I hope you understand this particular gesture. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, we'll try to look at the concept that I discussed through a question that appeared in one of the weekend examinations for my offline students here. Okay, so this is the question where they mixed N moles of hydrogen, obviously considered as an ideal gas, with the two moles of helium. The speed of sound in that mixture was given to be 1 by root 2 times the root mean square speed of the gas molecules in the mixture. And using the relation, you're supposed to estimate the numerical value of this n in the part of the question. So uh, the same thing, uh, I'll provide you the solution given in the uh, question paper. So is the average molecular mass concept right for the RMS calculation is what we're going to look at. So this is the solution given by the examiner. Okay, so the relation V sound is V RMS by root two has been substituted with under root gamma RT by M for the velocity of sound, which is very familiar to the students, where gamma is the gamma of the mixture, which can be written in this format. And V RMS has been substituted as root three RT by capital M. So the first thing that you notice is that the examiner has canceled the value of capital M on both sides and thereby ended up getting a gamma value of three by two. And for that substitution of gamma, he went on with this uh, N1 and N2's relation with CP and CV and got the value of N equal to two. So I claim that this particular solution is wrong and I asked students in the community post to respond. Why do they think that is wrong? Some of the students actually guessed it right because M was canceled on both sides in this step. So the average molar mass for a gas mixture during the derivation of velocity of sound calculation and the average molar mass that is required uh, for the RMS velocity calculation are going to be different. So you cannot cancel this capital M. So just mere mugging up of the formula is not going to help you. The deep dive into a concept is required. So we are only going to look at the right hand side of this particular formula. So in this capital M, what should be the average molecular weight? It is not this one. This is not the arithmetic uh, average or, or we can call it as weighted arithmetic mean. It should not be substituted here. Okay, so let's try to resolve this puzzle. So a 
basic understanding that you all have is that we have a macroscopic set of variables guiding us in the PV equal to NRT. And there are some microscopic set of variables in that inaccessible world. Uh, as a part of our theory, we develop these quantities. And one of the most important quantities is the RMS speed. RMS speed is a microscopic quantity, which helps us theoretically to establish what is happening inside an ideal gas. And using this and some other microscopic quantities, we actually write a list of uh, rules called as kinetic theory of gases, which help us understand the uh, world of ideal gas. Okay, so this is basics that you should already know in order to understand what I'm going to do ahead. Okay, so let's move to the next slide here. Okay, so before we move on, you should realize that the KTG suggests that if you mix two gases, let's say on screen, you could see I have uh, tried my best to illustrate mixture of uh, two gases, one uh, higher number of moles and second one lesser number. So one is in blue illustration and second one is in the red. So one thing that you need to keep in mind is when you apply kinetic theory of gases or Maxwell's distribution of velocities, uh, one gas presence will not affect the other. And that is how you develop the logic of law of partial pressure. Stalton's law of partial pressures assumes that the presence of one gas will not be detected by the other. Okay, so the force that these particular gas molecules apply on the wall is as good as what it would if the gas was present alone in the container. So that means we can conclude that each of these gas molecules will have their own Maxwellian distribution of velocities uh, independent of the presence of the other at that given temperature. So that would help us conclude certain points here. Okay, so when the gases are mixed, Gases don't detect the presence of other gas molecules in the mixtures. This happens as per the laws of KTG. Dalton's law of partial pressure is thus valid in case of ideal gases. That is why we say that uh, pressure applied on the wall is equal to pressure applied by these red gas molecules as if they were alone and plus pressure applied by this green, uh, sorry, blue gas molecules as if they were alone. So we therefore should have the same VRMS for each of the gases as they would if they were present alone in the container. That means if this entire gas container had only red molecules, then the RMS speed of red molecules alone would be root 3 RT divided by M1. M1 represents the red molecular weight. Similarly, for the blue one, it would be root 3 RT, the same T, remember temperature is same, divided by M2. So their own RMS speeds individually won't change because of the presence of the other. Now the RMS speed of the collection is what the examiner wanted. So we'll try to calculate it in a proper manner. So here's the actual RMS calculation, as is the case, a lot of things on the board. Instead of reading things on your own, just follow my voice and where I'm pointing, you'll be ending up with the proper understanding of the concept. Okay, now the red molecules, they have VRMS1. Let's assume, and for the shortest uh, way of writing it so that my calculations look uh, simpler, I'm calling it as V1, okay, bar. So the square of that is going to give me the RMS. So V1 square bar, bar means mean of the square of these velocities, okay? So the red one has this much value when it's squared. So this is your 3RT by M1. Okay? I've squared it, so it should be without the square root. And similarly, the blue molecules at that temperature assume the square of RMS is to be this number, okay, right? Assuming they were having N1 of the red molecules and N2 of the blue molecules, individually gas one and gas two's VRMS value square should be simply this number. Sum of the squares of individual molecules, N1 of them divided by N1. Similarly, the RMS velocity square right, or mean square of the gas two would be, I've represented using speed U symbols, okay? So N2 of them I add. Now, if someone asks you, what is the RMS speed of the entire system? It should be simply sum of the squares of all possible gas one molecules and all gas two molecules. That means both these numerators should be added like this and divided by total number of molecules, which is N1 plus N2. So both the numerators added and denominators added as a part of this, this should be your VRMS square, okay, which is as good as multiplying this n1 to this one, so that I get the numerator. So this number is n1 into v1 square. 
and this number should be n2 into v2 square divided by n1 plus n2. Now I'll substitute that the square of the RMS of v1 should be 3RT by m1 as we uh, illustrated that we should not have any change in the RMS value of the individual uh, type of gases. So 3RT by m1 and similarly v2 square should be 3RT by m2 of the blue molecules. So if I bring 3RT out and rewrite the entire stuff because we want the RMS square of the gaseous mixture, what should be the denominator for the substitution of capital M? I end up getting some kind of a term which is different from the uh, weighted arithmetic mean, right? It's not you could see that N1, M1 plus N2, M2 by N1 plus M2. Instead, yeah, you are getting something different. This, uh, this one, N1 plus N2 divided by N1 by M1 plus N2 by M2 is going to be called as weighted harmonic mean, okay? So the average M used in the V sound formula of root gamma RT by M and VRMS formula of root 3RT by M are going to be different once the gaseous mixtures are considered. In a single gas, yeah, the same capital M will be there, right? But in case of mixture, you should be extra careful. So this is the conclusion that we are looking at, right? Don't leave the video now. I'm going to give you some practice problems on the RMS speeds and average speeds and mixture of gases. So just stay till the end of the video. So the conclusion is the square of the velocity of the sound in a gaseous mixture, okay, is given by this, where M will be replaced with a weighted arithmetic mean of the molecular weights. You can replace this capital N1s and capital N2s with number of moles also, it would be the same answer. So, but the RMS velocity square should be replaced with a weighted harmonic mean of N, uh, M1 and M2. And if more gaseous mixtures are there, you need to extend the number of terms in this using a sigma. Okay, so this is what we have learned. I hope you understood the concept. So let's go and have a look at the practice problems as usual in any resolved video. So before I do that, I would request you and alert you if you are new to this channel to watch a resolved video, old one, I think two years from this video uh, back. Uh, I have made a video on the NCRT question which highlighted the importance of RMS and average speeds and their difference. And there was a wrong solution that was there in the NCRT exemplar set, which I corrected. And also introduced the concept of collision frequency in an elaborate manner to the student. So link of these videos are in the description below or the I button above, please do have a check. Okay, and there are multiple ways to connect with me, right? Uh, Discord server, Telegram, and there is a website which I'll explain in the next page. Also the social media I'm active on. All the links of these important uh, places are given in the about me section of the channel. It will be at the right part of the tab on your channel link that you see on screen. Okay, in the about me, you just scroll down, you get all these links. Right. And regarding the website, uh, this is the landing page, how it looks like. A lot of effort and money has been put into this particular website. Um, the, the playlists uh, and the videos of this particular channel are arranged chapter-wise in, in this uh, uh, website. And one of the best ways to revise for the students doing the exam is to go to the website and actually look at the YouTube links. That will uh, keep away the distractions of the YouTube. Uh, while students are studying. Okay, so also a lot of things are there on the website and going to come in the future. So in order to understand how to use the website, I made a video. The link of that video is in the description below or the I button above, Let's, you can have a check. Okay, so here's the practice problem one. This is a passage, as you could see about the mixture of ideal gases, followed by two questions. I have put one question here, question number 10. Okay, right, let's move to the next question. This is the second question as a part of the mixture of gases. Okay, right. it's a nice extended practice for students. I'll answer this question in the AITS select series. And uh, you can comment your response below with the timestamp. Timestamp for any doubt or any response is important because as the video grows older, I would not be able to remember at what you are referring to. So all your doubts, put a timestamp so that I can easily navigate to your doubt. Okay, here's the practice problem too. I picked up a nice little JE advanced question from uh, Pathfinder Solution Series MCQ. This question, you need to understand what's the difference between usage of average speed and RMS speed definition here. If you use average speed, you'll get a different answer and RMS, a different one, and which one to be used and why should give you a good understanding. It's not about getting the answer, it's about understanding the concept. Okay, so comment your response below with the timestamp. 
and the third one is again that mcq section from the thermal physics of pathfinder solution series this is a pretty easier one among the three okay so a simple mixture of gases and ktg problem so have a look at this also okay all the subtopic playlists of heat and thermodynamics there are i think six subtopic playlists all of them are in the description below i would urge you to go through uh, those things and some of the videos on heat and thermodynamics on this channel i feel are very unique you'll not just find them on not only youtube but you will not find them in the usual textbooks also there is a different perspective that has been thrown in in these videos and you will be enriched once you go through them so i would highly recommend them and uh, those playlists you can find them in the description below okay regarding discord survey it has already crossed 3.5k subscribers long time back and you can check the ktg channel uh, lots of uh, good questions have been uh, discussed and shared by students amongst each other and keep checking the community tab of this channel uh, for qotds questions of the days i keep posting them i think we are at 111 i guess okay so um, hit the notification bell icon and also subscribe to this channel so that whenever a notification of the community tab is there you'll end up getting that immediately so you'll not be missing out on important um, material and uh, also how to use discord if you are new student i have already made a video for beginners on using of discord so that video tutorial is there in the description below or in the i button above you should be able to go through that and reap the benefits of the uh, academically important discord server okay and um, apart from resolve series there are many series that are running parallel in this channel uh, all the playlists of those important things are in the description below i've written only four many are there you should explore the channel at your leisure uh, 270 odd videos at this point and each one of them i think you would become better in uh, visualizing physics and understanding it and exploring it okay so please do go ahead and like and share and subscribe to my channel uh, so that it uh, gets enough motivation to stay alive uh, the only part that i regret uh, is that uh, the number of likes or sharing of this particular channel videos or subscriptions are not up to the mark of what my expectations were so uh, but all the people who have stayed with me throughout this journey i wholeheartedly thank you uh, keep uh, staying uh, with me and keep loving me i'll try to uh, do my best to keep the channel alive with good quality content okay so i hope i have not disappointed you with the new video and i'll try to do my best in the next one see you there